Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology. We are doing chapter number 10 which is pathology of blood vessels and different forms of vasculitis we discuss discussing. Today's topic is important for exam Church Strauss syndrome. Achha, ye, uh, jo syndrome hai, this is also known as you have noted that there are many pathology mein jo diseases hai, particularly vasculitis unke do -do -teen -teen naam hai. So you should remember So for example uh, Church Strauss disease or syndrome ka ek aur naam, jo synonymously used hota hai, that is allergic, granulomatous ya granulomatosis or uske saath hi angitis. So, isme obviously aapko naam mein bhoot saari hints milti hai, thik hai? Um, to allergy ka jo word hai, this is pointing towards a very important uh, clinical scenario bhi mubata ta hoon aapko kya? So, this particular syndrome is a small vessel necrotizing vasculitis. Again, another important jargon, it is uh, affecting usually small blood vessels and uh, because of this involvement, the blood vessels, small blood vessels, they necrotize. This means that they necrosis ho jati hai. and along with the necrosis, there is inflammation. Classically, this is associated with asthma and allergic rhinitis. So that's why the disease name is also involving the word allergic. So allergic disease mein hoti hai, asthma mein hoti hai lung infiltrate, palliatory eosinophilia, these are all allergies associated with extra vascular necrotizing granulomas and striking infiltration of vessels and perivascular tissue by eosinophil. So you know that in inflammation, there is uh, eosinophil coming up all over. So eosinophil, eosinophil, allergy, allergy, all these are associated with church strauss syndrome. Therefore, the name include allergic, granulomatosis, and angitis. So, these words are important hai. because you are seeing that extravascular, or blood vessel, if there are any necrotizing granulomas, hai, us, us mein bhi the small blood vessels are affected. So, granulomatosis, angitis is inflammation of blood vessels, infiltration of blood vessels with uh, immune infiltrates. So, this bold is written in important terminologies hai about this particular disease. So, whenever we talk about Judge Strauss syndrome, you have to know that this is associated with allergic issues of the body. Okay? Now, it, although it's a rare disease, but whenever I talk about this case, it's a rare disorder, I always tell my students, ke, think about it. Even if it's one in uh, one million, yani dus lakh logo mein ek kisi bande koi disease milegi, but what if that one person is you? or your family member. So think about it. That's then a hundred percent for you. Hai na? So never uh, take rare disorders less seriously. They are equally serious. Okay. Now, cutaneous involvement with palpable purpura, GI bleeding and renal disease. They are the major association. Another very important pointer. Now imagine exam mein aapke paas na heading wise questions nahi aate. Exam mein aapke paas aate hai clinical scenario wise questions. So they will give you obviously a clinical scenario. Just mein they will give some hints from this paragraph ke koi allergy ki baat karenge, koi eosinophils ki baat karenge. And then they will give you associated issues. GI ka issue aapko batayenge, um, skin involvement aapko batayenge, things like that. Okay. Um, and this is uh, where they will be pointing you towards the right answer. Cytotoxicity produced by myocardial eosinophilic infiltrates often leads to cardiomyopathy. So if there is cardiac involvement, eosinophils are infiltrating uh, the cardiac tissue, it can lead to cardiomyopathy. Heart muscles will be affected. Cardiac involvement is seen in about 60% of the patient and is major cause of morbidity and mortality. So see, there is GI involvement, there is a skin involvement, there is lung involvement, renal involvement, heart involvement, all major systems are involved. So that's uh, a very much systemic sort of disease because it's not only affecting, um, you know, some blood vessels of your body, it's affecting to a bigger scale. So that's a serious, serious disease. Although it's rare, its implications are serious. Then this particular syndrome may stem from hyper responsiveness to some normal innocuous allergic stimulus. Yani normally wo allergic stimulus kisi normal bande ko ho ke guzar jaya, usko koi khas uh, you know sequel na ho, koi serious disease na ho. Normal allergy hai hoye, but uh, the disease can be exacerbated in certain individuals. Okay, MPO and CAS, these antibodies are present in minority of cases, so these are not very much diagnostic, but uh, they may be present. The vascular lesion differ from that of the polyarthritis nariusa or microscopic polyangitis by virtue of the presence of granulomas and eosinophils. So, ye the hallmark has disease ke eosinophils and granulomatous necrotizing um, 
in involvement of the small blood vessels okay so church strauss syndrome all important points exam ke liye important hai i hope uh, you will remember all this okay so we are actually now reaching towards the end of our uh, blood vessel uh, inflammation uh, vasculitis topic to bahut sare humne vasculitis discuss kiye hain polyarthritis nodosa and kawasaki and what not so today topic was church strauss syndrome so Uh, that's all about it a small topic but very important topic okay so i'll see you in another video very soon take care of yourself